What is going on, you guys? Andrew Roboto here, and welcome to Five Nights at Smash Bros. 3, where this is a game made by Luigi Aiden Games, and, and this game has Super Smash Bros. Brawl's theme for the menu theme, which I really like. It's my favorite theme other than the Melee theme, and I'm not going to play it out the whole time because Brawl's theme is slightly longer than Melee, so without further ado, we'll start a new game, and we have Mario, who looks ripped, of course. Alright. To Ike, you need to work at a restaurant called Smash Bros Arcade and Pizza for five nights next week. But please be careful. The animatronics are very dangerous and creepy. And I also heard, and I can't read the rest, from Moss. Oh, so we're playing as Ike in this game. Nice. That menu theme is really good. Alright, so let's see what this game has to offer for us. Jeez. Jeez, this place looks broken up. I can agree on that. Well, I saw the email Mark sent me. Well, I heard something about a, a man in a biker outfit named uh, Wario, I think. He just broke into the place and Wario? the uh, prototype animatronics on stage and destroyed everything else, though. Well, anyway, I'm here to, to survive five nights. And after five nights, I am getting out of here. Well, anyways, though, I think I know what to do. Uh, prototype Mario, prototype Luigi, and the uh, wolf, I think. If they're in the office, I gotta play the alarm until they go. Wolf? For prototype Kirby, I gotta seal the vent so he won't come and get me. For okay. Prototype, for prototype uh, Fox, he is a, a very shy, I think, so he won't jump scare you. I think so. You'll probably just stand in your office and not do anything. I think I'll be uh, later on in the night, though. I think this night is probably just prototype Luigi, then night two, prototype Kirby, then night three, uh, probably prototype Fox, and then night four, prototype uh, Mario, and then night five, I think it's Wolf. Okay. Well, anyways, though, I think I should start getting to work, though. Hello, I. It's a me. What the heck? Okay, what was that? Did something just explode or something? Yeah, what the heck just happened? Well, let's just get to work, though. Okay, so we got Prototype Mario, Prototype Luigi, and Prototype Kirby that we're going to be dealing with this game. And then Prototype Wolf. And then Fox, we don't have to worry about. He just comes in the office. Okay. So this game, there's no phone guy. It's just it's just the, the night guard talking, which is Ike. And the reason why I started the video when I opened up the game is because I wanted to play on um, part of Brawl's theme. Which is what I'll do for the whole Let's Play. I'm not going to play the whole theme just because it's kind of long. I played the whole Melee's theme because it wasn't as long. They're both really good themes. Oh, so this game goes to 7 a.m. Alright, so we beat Night 1. Night 1 was a freebie. We didn't have to deal with any new characters. So, we will take on Night 2 in this video because um, we're not going to be... Because we're going to start dealing with new characters. Okay. And the passcode is right below, which is Prototype Luigi. Alright, so without further ado, we're going to take on Night 2 in this video, since we have plenty of time to. Alright, so let's see who's going to be active on Night 2, because no one was active on Night 1. Okay, so Ike, is Ike going to be talking this night? Okay, so he's not talking this night, that was only on Night 1. Okay. So we got a strategy I'm going to do, close the vent when Prototype Kirby comes, and then play the alarm and prototype Mario and Luigi come in. And I think it'll work on Wolf for Night 4. I'm not exactly sure, though. But we'll see when we get to Night 4. Or wait, or Night 5. I don't know. He's going to be active on Night 5, I think. So that's when we got to start dealing with him. But anyway, so Wario... So Wario apparently messed up the animatronics. I'm like, is that Okay. I didn't think Wario was going to... I didn't know Wario was going to be an antagonist in this game, but okay. Almost every FNAF fan game you play, either you or someone else tampers with the animatronics, which in this game, Wario tampered with the animatronics. In most FNAF games, you get... or in Finance of Freddy's games, you get fired for tampering with them. Oh, sorry, I, I apologize. I just accidentally hit my camera, so... That's why I had to fix this, so I apologize for that. 
But anyways, like I was saying in most FNAF fan games and Final Fantasy Freddy's, like, you get fired for tampering with the animatronics. But in this game, it's Wario. And then in Five Nights at the Wiggle House 3, um, I believe Sam Moran tampered with the animatronics in that game. Because he goes to prison for it and for stealing the files. And you play as him in the fourth game in Final Fantasy Wiggle House 4. Okay, so prototype Luigi's moving. I gotta check these doors, see if he's coming. Because if he is, then I gotta play the alarm. Okay, prototype Kirby's also moving too. I don't know if prototype Mario is gonna be active tonight or if he'll be active on night three, but we'll see. I mean, I don't know at this point. We'll see though. There's that big Y on that TV. I don't know why. And the table's knocked over, so this place definitely is a wreck. Because obviously, Wario broke in and, like, damaged the place and destroyed and damaged the animatronics. Jesse Luigi. Or prototype Luigi. Prototype Kirby's got to be coming through. The, is coming through the vents. So I got to close him when he's in. Okay, he's gonna prototype Kirby. He's gonna go in the bench soon, so I gotta be ready. All right. And I'll tell you this: Super Smash Bros. Brawl. I played that as well as kids as well. Same with Melee, and I still do this day because they're both really games. In fact, I play all the Smash Bros. games because they're all good. And then Cam 3 is the vent closed, and Cam 2 is the alarm sound. Which I need to check my office now, because cause I think cause Prototype Luigi is going to be coming. And Prototype Mario hasn't moved yet, so I'm assuming he's going to be active on night 3. Oh! Gotta close the vent, because I hear Prototype Kirby in there. Okay, yep, I got rid of him. Okay, I got I got worried. I thought he was going to come in and kill me, but I got rid of him. Okay, good. Now I just need to check for Prototype Luigi. Alright, he's coming close. So I got to be ready for the alarm. This definitely reminds me of Five Nights with Max tonight, too. Like, when the animatronics arrived, you had to blow the alarm. And it was really loud. And I don't know how loud this one's going to be, but we'll see when I play it. Or if I play it on night three. But I don't know yet. We'll see. Ah! Prototype Luigi is here. Oh, wait. He didn't go away. Okay, so he has to come to the door in order for me to play the alarm. Okay, and the alarm's actually not loud. It's, it's, just, for, it's just an iPhone ringtone. Which I will have to play when Prototype Luigi comes in. He's at the window, though. Which he also does this. Ah, I gotta play the alarm! Okay, got rid of prototype Luigi. Okay, phew. He just gave me a heart attack when he bashed through that window. Okay, and prototype Kirby will go in the vent soon. I gotta be ready. Toy Luigi, like, 
He also shows up the window in Final Fantasy Smash Bros. 2. And I think he does the same in Final Fantasy Smash Bros. 1. I could be wrong, though, because they always come at the doors in that game. Gotta close the vent. Prototype Kirby's coming in. Alright, I beat Night 2. And it's got really good classical music after you beat it. Alright, so we will take on Night 3 in the next video. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you've given me, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.